Can you bring up an article called Gauge Theory is Dead, Long Live Gauge Theory? So, like, I, I didn't want to tell these stories the last time. I, this is, like, super painful, but I'm done with this stuff. I'm just completely done with this. So, you see, there was this thing called the self-dual equations, which Isidore Singer brought to Michael Atia and Nigel Hitchin. Oh, the, the other one was uh, if, if spinners were involved, Nigel Hitchin would know and he would have told us, which is bullshit. Keep going to the next page. The new gauge there. You see those two equations? dA of phi equals zero. Mm -hmm. I had written psi rather than phi. Phi has to do with uh, the spin of the field. But fa plus equals i. I had written these things down in a slightly different form and had been effectively laughed out of Harvard for this. And it turns out that what was going on was uh, Ed Witten had written these things down and now all of these people were converted. And a lecture is given at room 507 in the Harvard math department on the fifth floor across from the office of a guy named Raoul Bott, who is absolutely not my advisor, but the internet is determined to make him my advisor. It's making me really upset. Uh, Raoul Bott is my hero, but he was not my advisor. He's a great man and you shouldn't do that to him and you shouldn't do that to me. So I go to this lecture and the person giving it was really the closest thing to, I had to an advisor, if it's not a guy named Dror Barnaton, is the brother of somebody you've had on your program. You've had Gary Taubes on your program. His brother is named Clifford Taubes. And Clifford Taubes had picked a fight with Princeton. And he had said, you know, these guys at Princeton, we work our asses off to get these results in Donaldson theory. These equations are so hard. And then always after the fact, Princeton tells us what we're really doing. You know, thanks, guy. So it was a fight between Cambridge and Princeton. And now he's got to eat crow. Okay. So he's giving this lecture and he titles it Witten's Magical Equations. This is the same guy who tells me that I can't live in Massachusetts in 1987. And he's going on, he's like saying, this is the greatest day of my life. I was a I was in prison. I was working at hard labor for 10 years. These equations make everything trivially easy. I am sitting in the back row of room 507 picking my nose. And a guy in the front seat on the right-hand side is named David Kajda, one of the most brilliant people on the planet. And he usually falls asleep during the lecture. He's like a Soviet Jew who got through the anti-Semitic system at Moscow State, like unbelievable mind. And he says, excuse me, Cliff, didn't we have a student at some point who told us to, <laughs> to look at the spinner bundles and maybe these equations? And Cliff goes white as a ghost. And I'm picking my nose, right nostril, and the entire room swivels and looks at me. And then I realize, like, everybody actually remembers what I was saying. And my thesis is on the spinner bundles, all this stuff. And I have this question. Do I tell them the whole theory? And... I left mathematics at that moment. I just decided I can't trust you people. Cliff knows the answer. Cliff is supposed to say, you know, Eric told me to look at that. And he won't do it. He's sitting there giving the credit, not even to Cyberg and Witten, who are the two people who do these equations. He's giving a whole thing to Witten because he's scared. Because he's apologizing. He's saying, I screwed up. I doubted you, Princeton. Princeton was right. Harvard was wrong. New Jersey beats Massachusetts. Tough shit. That's the way it goes. But Massachusetts actually had an entrant in that game, and that was me. And then Isidore Singer writes somewhere in one of his papers, you know, I learned about this years ago uh, before from, from Eric Weinstein, a paper with Cano and uh, Ballou. So this was my trajectory. This is why I left mathematics in part, because I realized that there was just no honor. There was no way of making a name and, and like people are just going to give away my stuff. So when I, when I did this draft of GU, I said, I'm an entertainer. People don't have any clue why. It's because I have copyright protection. If I release a work of entertainment, you can't just name it after yourself or your friend or whoever you're upset with, <laughs> you know, mm. that might hurt you. It's like, that's mine. It's my work of entertainment. I own the Portal podcast. Tough shit. Now, all that is long in the past. I don't want the cyborg witten equations, which is what they're now called. Natty Cyborg and I have worked this out years ago at a meeting in San Francisco. 
He got $3 million. I forced him to give me a hug in front of the Institute for Advanced Study, call it even. This is so much bigger than this. Those things, the cyber witness equations, is the barest thumbnail of what's coming. And if we don't use this stuff, we're doomed here with Xi and Biden and Kamala and Trump and Putin and Zelensky and Khomeini and all of these idiots. We're not going to make it. What I work on, where I've disappeared, where's the portal? We like the portal. You know, it's like, do you notice how everything that you love gets destroyed? Jordan Peterson, Brett Weinstein, Sam Harris, even Lex Friedman. They go after Lex Friedman after I warn Lex they're going to come for you because of his reading list and because they misportray him as if he's claiming to be an MIT professor, which he's never claimed in his life. They destroy all of us if we don't sing from the hymnal. This is so important to me because it's hope. If I'm wrong, then maybe we don't have a, plan, a way off this planet. Maybe we don't have a way to the solar system, out of the solar system. That's bad news. 